here's everything out of the box and I went ahead and connected all the connections here uh, this little connector has to be assembled so you have to put a, put them together and put the little screws in and then you can uh, attach it to this box and then you have this cable that attaches with a, a connector um, that it's like a six pin or eight pin connector there and um, and then you have these these pins here that are straightforward and uh, this has like this little silicone protecting piece over the infrared sensor and then this is like a little this is like a little clamp that you can put on the hood um, or wherever that you need to do it uh, can't clamp it but it has uh, this little triangle special screwdriver that comes with it it comes with a small screwdriver for these little screws here and then it comes with this big Torx to adjust the angle here on this hinge uh, but it doesn't have a flathead, which you'll need for these. Which is, I mean, most people have a small flathead, but, you know, it doesn't have that. So it's kind of strange to have all these tools, um, specialty tools especially, like this little triangle. Uh, and that connector, I'm not sure why it comes disassembled. You would think that it would already be assembled when it got here. But that's the way it is. It's not a big deal. Now it has this little uh, magnet mount. Adhesive on the side, you stick it, and then you have this magnet here and it sticks to the back so you can mount this little screen uh, somewhere in the vehicle. Once you turn it on it basically shows uh, the thermal imaging here and this is just thermal imaging it doesn't have any kind of camera overlay or anything like that and when you tap, tap the screen you can play right here you can also record you can also turn the, the volume off right here so you have the different icons here's the settings here to the right you can change the language you can change from you know meters to feet and you can turn on or off the AI system if you just want to see the visuals without the AI popping up and highlighting you know pedestrians or vehicles uh, you can quickly turn that off here here's my coffee cup I have it right here you can see it's highlighting my hand it's very yeah very sensitive system here it has little indicators for my hand you can see it's giving me a little right red um, alert here on the side single button here at the top where the SD card goes in it's a mini SD card and then there's a single button let's go ahead and press that that's to turn the screen off press it again to turn the screen on so it's pretty straightforward now I notice the screen has quite a little little bit of a bezel around the outside here and it feels kind of heavy um, that the, feels pretty strong actually now these actually are the speakers back here on the very bottom uh, these are just kind of rubber pads, apparently. This one's designed to hook on the edge of the hood right here. And most vehicles have this little exposed edge of the hood. So make sure your vehicle has that particular thing. And um, yeah, it's fairly simple. You just lift the hood and attach it right there, tighten it down snugly, but not overly tight. And uh, yeah, it's fairly secure. Kind of blocks a slight amount of visibility. Um, me personally, I would probably do a different install. If I was doing it permanently on a vehicle, I'd probably mount it inside the grill somewhere. Uh, but this is very easy and this is where it's intended to be installed, right here on the edge. Now you'd want to tuck the wires and behind everything. I'm just doing a temporary install where I ran the wire under the wipers and then through the door. And then I just kind of stuffed all the wires in here. <laughs> but uh, but you would want to do it, you know, tuck it everything away and, um, you know, and customize it to your vehicle, of course. And this is where I put the, the little screen. Once again, temporary install. And um, you could install it here and just kind of flip it down when you're not using it. Uh, but you could pretty much put it anywhere in your vehicle. It depends on the layout of the vehicle and if there's any space. You can do like a flush mount or you can, you know, have a flip mount, that kind of thing. The little, the little mount that it comes with, the magnetic mount, this one, um, it's able to, you know, pivot and swivel and stuff. So you can you basically do uh, different installs with it. So you can have it flush mount or you can pivot it up. And it's magnetic, so it's very easily just to unplug it and take it out if you need to. 
the way this system works is that hotter stuff there's a pedestrian there on the side yes should be able to start picking up pedestrians and people around there on the side you can see it somebody standing there directing traffic and there should be another one up here oh, that's a car there's a pedestrian and a car so I was able to recognize that but the way this system works is that the hotter items hotter objects looks like there could be animals out there but um, it should put a box around them if it recognizes them hotter objects are white so the road the Sun just went down so the road is hotter because the Sun was shining on it than the rest of the woods and stuff uh, so that's why the road is is white basically um, but as of course as time goes by the road will cool off and then it'll be blend in more with the background so you'll notice it'll give you the vehicles blocked but also if there's an alert it'll have like the red uh, appear on the edge of the screen to kind of get your attention especially if you're not directly looking at the screen all the time which you shouldn't be um, it will get your attention out of the corner of your eye by having those red alerts on the side so I'm able to see way down the road, a lot further than what I can see with my eyes, especially when there's bright lights in my face like this car. Uh, I can't see past it hardly, so being able to have certainty of what's past it is really nice. So I noticed this system is able to recognize cars usually pretty good, but there was a car on the side of the road it didn't recognize. Um, as I guess because it was cold it wasn't running it was just like a parked vehicle uh, but other system were, were systems were able to recognize cars even when they weren't running also this one in particular is it's designed it just has a single infrared sensor there's no other views there's no other uh, there's no you know side-by-side -side cameras there's no you know fu fusing those two views together it's just a very fairly basic thermal imaging uh, it just adds the AI system, which tries to, you know, alert you when there is a potential threat, especially if there's an animal or a car or a pedestrian. Really, the, the pedestrians and the, and the animals are the ones that really um, need to be focused on. The cars you can pretty much see, you know, unless there's like a car in the middle of the road without his lights on, then, you know, that might be an issue. But uh, in this case, you know, like the, the, the car I just passed, it didn't recognize it, so that might not work. But uh, def definitely pedestrians and animals is something that I would definitely need to look out for, especially on dark roads like this at nighttime. Um, just being able to look out for animals that are in the shadows or whatever. Sometimes you can see the eyes of, a, like, say, a deer, but, you know, usually not. So being able to see the heat signature in the side in the fields or on the side of the road or something like that. There's also some people that think it's okay to just walk in the middle of the night in the, in the road, you know, and, and they're wearing black and you can't see anything. Um, no reflectors or anything like that, and they're just kind of walking in the road, and they're expecting you to see them, and you, like, don't see them until the last second. So, um, so yeah, this, this system would see them way far away. Give you plenty of warning. You notice you can see the clouds in the sky, and you can see a lot. I mean, you can see a whole lot on this system. Uh, the resolution is is okay it's not like the highest resolution i've seen but um but yeah you can see just fine especially up close and the, you know you can see enough detail to make out things um so it doesn't really matter too much on the resolution and also the refresh the the, the frames per second is good uh, some systems have a very slow refresh rate and it's kind of very choppy uh, so this one's relatively smooth so that helps out a lot with these with infrared set type systems it's really better to have a lower resolution but have a higher refresh rate uh, on these type of systems all right so there's a pedestrian there in front of me now you notice it doesn't it's showing it in color but it doesn't have a box around it it just shows the color and it shows the distance away, away from the vehicle And then you have these different vehicles here. One of them is driving, the other ones are parked. And it shows the distance between me and the vehicles, basically. Me and the object. 
Um, so there's some, you can see there's some pedestrians down there. I didn't see them with my eyes, but they're there. I can see them here and it shows the distance uh, where they're at. And you can see they're highlighted, very bright uh, using the system here. So you notice the field of view is quite a bit, is quite narrow, you know, um, especially close up to the vehicle. You're, you're getting the sides completely not in the picture, um, but it does give you uh, more of a distance shot. So yeah, you can see the distances here. You can see the pedestrians walking around and they're looking quite a bit different than the vehicles because they're, they're a bright color. And you can see when they're blended in with the vehicle, sometimes it doesn't separate them. This could come in handy for a like a cop that's just patrolling the area because if there's somebody hiding say behind some merchandise that's you know locked up outside and somebody's hiding somewhere in that area or next to a store or behind a store or near a dumpster or just in general that where they're not really supposed to be this will highlight that they're there uh, and so if you're just kind of on patrol and you don't see anything this might be able to like somebody hiding in the bushes hiding in the trees hiding behind something somewhere uh, this will really make them pop out and, and stand out Thank you.